Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 494. I'm your host, Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. Uh, sorry for the absence for the past few weeks. Um, a few things happened in between and also lack of news. But hey, um, I have some now. So anyway, uh, let's hop right into it. First up is... Gameplay teaser for upcoming My Little Pony Maritime Bay Adventure release. So this one has been a while now. Um, popping up in April seventh, and we are in. Oh my goodness, it's almost the end of the month. But anyway, um, <coughs> uh, how how do I even want to explain this? Um, uh, I'll just read some of it. Uh, Maritime Bay Adventure is coming on the twenty seventh. On the 27th of what? Seth? April? Alright, anyway, um, coming on the 27th, and Outright Game has popped up a teaser showing of some of the gameplay you can expect to see in it. Uh, the expand on, sorry, this expands on the trailer we got a few weeks ago. Expect tree bucking and collecting. Get teasers be uh, get teasers below. <coughs> I ain't going to play the video, but you guys should check it out. And what I discovered is that the game is coming on well multiple platforms: um, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and Nintendo. So that is going to be really interesting um personally i would have thought i would bought this game on the playstation but knowing that there's a steam version coming out i might buy it on steam if it's available all right um as for the gameplay and whatnot it's pretty simple uh, you move your character from point a to point b while in between collecting stuff, doing stuff, and so on. Uh, there's multiple mini games that you can do. Um, some of it is like dancing, uh, corralling some critters, and so on. But overall, it is a pretty simple game. Uh, don't expect anything to be. Don't expect it to be Dark Souls or even Elden Ring or even Devil May Cry level of stuff or even whatever the fans have been doing uh, how do I put this? Um, lower your expectations for the difficulty and gameplay because at the end of the day it's still going to be a kids game for your nephews, your child and whatever it is so yeah um, game is pretty simple um, but I do notice that they have some achievement this. And <clears throat> what's this? This is pretty recent. Maritime Bay Adventure is a little over a month away of releasing. Ah yes, so is me. And with that comes the usual achievement for all of you completionists out there. Overall the game doesn't have a ton of them with only thirteen and many are worth a large amount of points. They do reveal some interesting information about the game though, uh, with all the characters getting a shout out within. Oh cool. So this I can pop up and take a look-see. Uh, so achievement list is on the trueachievements.com and what we see here is, okay, uh, an adorable thief. Uh, unicycling 101, uh, don't know, Unicycling 101, fix the bridge using EZ's unicycling powers, uh, Main Street, Main Street awaits, help hitch in Bright House, Pip Pip Parade, help Pip in Main Street, uh, Amateur Detective, get 500 magical, so uh, looking through the whole list here is pretty simple and ah there's a secret. Use the magic mirror for the first time. Okay. 
Yeah. So overall, the game has pretty simple achievements. Um, from what I can tell or from what I can see, it's just basically play the game, and you'll get the, most of the achievements. I do wonder how much of the achievements are. So, uh, <laughs> are you hunting it down? Star Scout get one hundred and fifty three out oh, fifteen hundred magical bits. Uh, okay. Catch and talk some sentence. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun achievement. Uh, but overall, uh, seems like a fun game. Going to be interesting. So let's move on to the next news. Next news is My Little Pony Make Your Mark now listed on Netflix. Uh, My Little Pony Make Your Mark is set to release on the 26th of May, and Netflix has now officially given it's a it a listing. We don't know a whole lot about this one yet, other than the runtime and its 3D style following the G5 movie. But I'm sure Netflix Hasbro, sorry Netflix and Hasbro will give us some stuff to chew on as we wait for it. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, from what I can see, there's been some comparison videos out there. I'm not 100% sure where it is, I didn't really put it up, but um, from what I can tell, it's about easy and how her main looks from uh, 2D to the movie to um, make your mark. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, we'll have to wait and see. Um, one more thing to ponder is the comics. So, we have to wait and see for that one too. And last on the list is new KFC Generation 5 figure reveal in Indonesia. Over in Indonesia, sorry, KFC over in Indonesia has revealed an upcoming set of G5 Pony toys planned for release, including in, sorry, included in the mix are Easy, Sunny, Pip, Hitch, and, and Hitch as an actual figure, plus a few random plastic toys included include a picture frame container and bracelets okay so let's enlarge this and see what we get so one two three four mm, not all of them five six seven okay there, there's a few there's a few uh the only pony without a figure is going to be uh zip storm but most of it, uh, they have some pretty cool items. Um, okay, uh, let's predict. Uh, Hitch is going to be a stamp. Um, Pip here is a bracelet. Pip stamp again? I'm not sure what this one is going to be. And not sure what that one's going to be. And My Little Pony novelty. Not sure what that's going to be. So. <clears throat> Um, we take a look, see, ah, 40, mm, I don't know how to read that, but, um, if you guys are interested, oh, wow, okay, this is in your nation, right, um, their, their kids meal seems to have, um, one burger, one pom-pom, and one novel thing. One free toys. Original recipe burger. Okay, cool. So it's an original recipe burger with uh to me those are called they're 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 potatoes uh, what do they call it? Like I am forgetting. Uh, man. Hash browns? Like small hash I don't know. And the other one is original recipe chicken with rice and over and one oval team. Huh, I'm guessing Ovaltine is kind of the in thing in Indonesia. Alright, so yes, uh, that seems like fun. Like, uh, if you're in Indonesia, I guess this is your chance to get it and try it out. And, well, collect them all. It's pretty simple. I am guessing there's what, um, three, six, seven, eight. There's only eight of them. And I'm not 100% sure the toys are coming out twice a week like um two twice a week or you have to wait for eight weeks 
to get them all. Who knows? Uh, eight weeks to get them all. That would be two two months. Hmm, fascinating. Uh, but anywho, that is the news for this week. So, <clears throat> I, I'm almost out of frame. I think I am out of frame. Hmm. But anywho. Um, so let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing my week? Weeks. So, um, mostly been just doing a lot of personal work. Um, work, more or less. Um, been doing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> sorry. I've been playing a bit of Magic the Gathering and D&D. Um, and, yeah, uh, that's basically it most of the time. So, yeah, um, been doing a lot of that. Other than uh, that, I haven't been really playing much games. Haven't been even, haven't even bought any new games recently. Um, don't have anything in mind, really. So, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I do have one game I, well, actually, I do have a few games that I want to buy and play, but money that's another thing but yeah um i'll have to wait and see oh now i remember some stuff i've watched a bit of anime um a lot actually um what are they they're, they're kind of the in thing right now um man I, I am forgetting titles let's see what i can peruse with my watch later list so uh one of the few new ones i've been watching is Kau, <clears throat> kawaii de dake janai, uh, shikimori san. Uh, I remember reading the manga way back when, and yeah, um, I'm surprised they have an anime, so I thought I'd just check it out. And mm, okay, it was pretty interesting. Uh, the other one is Koi wa Sekai Seifuku no At. Today, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Super Sentai or um, the Red Ranger couples with the bad guy and hiding in stew. Um, this one, I have to give credit to myself, Black, like, for pointing uh, the show to me because if he didn't, I would haven't, I would have not known that it exists. Um, the other one. If I can remember, is um, your boy? Oh, man, I am I am not great with names. What was the anime called? It was pretty fun. The song is interestingly stupid. Oh goodness me! Oh um, I wonder if it's here. That's a good question. I wonder if it's here on the list. Uh, your boy Coleman, something like that. Yeah, I I think I watched that. So yeah, and uh, that's about it, I guess. I mean, there's more probably. I know, knowing me, I have a forgetful memory. But um, I might do a quick s review, quick impression of it on Patreon, probably. Who knows? So yeah, um, that's it. So let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at imagegmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, social Twitter account is at NBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also please subscribe and rate us on uh, And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on Revive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, and uh, our newest um, friend, Jacob. Jacob? Oh, man. How how does name pronounce? I, I think it's a Y, so it's supposed to be pronounced Jacob. Yes, so there's him. Uh, we'll, we'll usually review episodes, comics specials, movies, and sometimes we like to do other, <laughs> sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. Uh, they can be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, video games, movies, and so on. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show with every 
support you get a week's early access to review discuss podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about the thank yous i would like to thank um Jacob, lucky knight master of Black, and also tristan thank you so much guys you are great so anyway i have been norman sanzo and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the mbs show see ya